Assalamu alaikum man, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. Today we're gonna be doing a review on the Sony ZV-1. And this is supposed to be the ultimate vlogging camera. Is it really the ultimate vlogging camera? We're gonna find out today, all right? So, first thing we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna do an unboxing on it. So, let's get started. So we're gonna unbox this guy. We're gonna show you what contents come in the box. Then we're gonna jump right to it and start reviewing the camera, talking about the features, the options, the benefits, and is this really the perfect vlogging camera? Is this the best vlogging camera for you? That's what we're gonna help you decide right now. So here's the box. Here's what it looks like. Let's open it up. Now, when you open up the box, the first thing you see is the manuals. Most of us like to chuck them aside. I personally like to skim through them real quick. But right now, we're gonna put them aside. Next, you have the battery. This camera comes with an NP-BX1, which are mostly used on the RX100 series. So if you have a bunch of these batteries, you're in luck because you can just keep using them, using them on the ZV-1. Then it comes with a dead cat or a windscreen that connects to the hot shoe. Now, this is huge. The way they built this, check out the hot shoe. Check out the little plastic thing here that fits right on a hot shoe. Isn't that cool? That is pretty cool. Very convenient, very creative. All right, next you got the cable. Charges through your USB. Uh, it doesn't come with a, a wall jack, but not necessary. We have so many USB plug outs, plugins right now. You just use any of those and you're good to go. All right. Oh, let's not forget the camera. So here's what the camera looks like. Check it out. Boom. Let me show you the side, the back, the front. Articulated screen opens up. Check that out. Look at that. Articulated screen opening up, closes inwards, closes outwards. How about that? So you can protect the screen, huh? That's pretty cool. Let's go over the features. Let's see what specs does this thing have on it, and is it really worth it? Let's see. All right, so here it is. Sony ZV-1. It is a 20.1 megapixel camera with a one-inch CMOS sensor. It has an articulated screen. 24 to 70 mm Zeiss lens. F 1.8 to 2.8. I believe up to f11 uh 4k 30 fps 1080 120 fps it shoots at a high frame rate for slow motion at 1000 fps that's huge that is huge s log 2 picture profiles s log 2 s log 3 hlg active stabilization that's awesome because if this is going to be a vlogging camera without a gimbal, you want to make sure that when you're holding it up that you're not constantly doing this and shaking, which looks really bad, right? Make people seasick while they're watching you on your vlogs. Uh, built-in ND, game changer right there. That's huge. For a small camera like this to have a built-in ND, that's great because... You want to be able to control your frame rate while you're walking. You're going in between sun, shadows, uh, uh, dark, light. If you have an ND filter and you're going from indoor to outdoor, you can still maintain that 24 frames that you like to that you like for that cinematic look if you shoot at that frame rate or whatever frame rate you're shooting at without having to go crazy and have the sun explode and having to put some massive glass cover as a filter. Built-in ND, huge game changer. All right, uh, eye autofocus. Sony's been good with that. They've been consistent. Great to have it on this camera, especially for vlogging. The bokeh switch. This is awesome. We're going to test that out. We're going to see if this really works. I've seen a few people check it out, test it. It's cool because it makes you just switch. Click of a button. All right. Face beauty effects. Eh, not a big fan. You know, I've never been a big fan of the uh, Instagram filters or the Snapchat filters. But hey, you guys might like them because this is supposed to be an all-around camera for vloggers, for content creators. It's supposed to answer all of those Features, all right, so face beauty effects, you got them, built in. Uh, let's talk, let's, let's mention the price real quick. All right, so right now, currently, today, as of the 30th of May, it is $749.99 in the U.S. In the UAE, here in Dubai, it is Three thousand. I had it marked here. Sorry about that. Real quick, it is three thousand ninety nine dirhams. That's three thousand ninety nine dirhams in the UAE. 
Now, after the 28th of June, it will go back up to $799.99 in the U.S., and it'll maintain the same price in the UAE of 3,099 dirhams. More features that it comes with. Auto lens cover. I don't know how I skipped that one. That's a good one. The auto lens cover is cool. When you, this is a small camera. This is a pocket-sized camera that you most likely will put either in your purse, if you're a lady, if you're a young lady, or a man, I guess, or in your backpack, or in your pocket. You want to make sure you don't scratch the lens. So if you had a cover that comes off uh, with a camera that's kind of small like this, you might lose it. So built-in, electronic. It was also available on the RX100, so they maintained it. It's the same. Very cool. Rubber grip. This is huge, guys. Holding the camera. Now, I have huge hands, but at least I can use my fingers, my index fingers, and my side fingers, and I got the rubber grip that can help me grab the camera a little bit better. Thumb grip in the back. That's huge. That's a big plus right there. All right. The ports. Right here. Mic port. Multi-port. Micro HDMI port. That's huge. Keep saying that. But it is. Because if you want to hook up an external screen, I personally wouldn't. For me, this is a run and gun vlog camera that, has, that answers a lot of the stuff that I needed before. And it's compact, so I wouldn't want to put a, a screen out there. But if you were going from a vlog out in the streets and you came to a, a, your office studio or home, uh, wherever you shoot, and you want to hook up a monitor to it and continue on shooting and have someone else help you, you have that option. You could do that. Okay, we have some pros and cons for you guys. Uh, fast action capabilities. Uh, the purpose of this camera is for you to pick it up, start shooting, and not have to worry about fe settings, features, options, setting, you know, just wasting time you just grab point shoot that was the whole point of it so having fast action capabilities is huge is, is, is just the answer uh, number one the articulated screen which we've mentioned numerous times all right so we have the articulated screen that faces both ways all right look at that isn't that cool that's amazing okay then you have the camera powers off when the screen is closed. So if I do that, okay, give it a second, and it retracts, lens retracts, powers off, now the camera is off. So again, if I wanted it on, comes right on, I don't have to hit a power button, I just flip it open, start vlogging, and I'm good to go. Close the screen, shuts off. So it, it, it wouldn't make sense to just have the lens be covered and not have the, sc the back screen covered. So what's cool about this is you could actually have it both ways. So you can keep it open like that, or you can close it the other way and it's protected now. So that's very good. Uh, tap to track. Tap tracking is great. You tap the screen. Now, it's not a touch screen. Well, we'll get to the touch screen thing, but you tap it and check this out. So if I tap it right now, look how it follows the car driving. Isn't that cool? That's such a cool feature. Such a cool feature for a small camera like that. It has a skin smoothing option. This is the beauty thing that we were talking about. Hey, look, if you like that stuff, it works out good for you. Uh, you could turn it to high, medium, low, or off, which is where it'll be with me. But uh, you have that option, high, medium, low. Uh, if you keep it on high for a long while, it could do some weird things uh, if you keep moving your face in and out of the way. But for the most part, it works great. Uh, it has background separation or increased bokeh. This is the bokeh button. So, all right, so let's go test out the bokeh button right now. Okay, so now we're also gonna look at the bokeh option. So this bokeh. camera, yeah, bokeh. This camera actually has a bokeh option. So if I wanted to, uh, let's say Stevie's with me, and if it recognizes that Stevie's with me, and if I wanted to blur Stevie out, like right now, Stevie's blurred out, uh, just by a click of a button, Stevie's kind of blurred. If I wanted him back in focus, all I gotta do is hit that button again, and we got clear, so now everything in the background's in focus, including me, out of focus, and back in focus. Cool?
There you go. Thanks again, Stevie. Yeah. What do you guys think? Cool, right? That was awesome. So my friend Stevie jumped in, Boca in, Boca out. I can keep him in the frame or I can just get rid of him if I wanted to, huh? That's cool. Product showcasing. This is a huge, huge thing, especially for vloggers. And if you guys are doing product reviews like I'm doing right now, this is going to really help you out, especially if you're shooting outdoors, you're shooting in the middle of nowhere. You have no one helping you, you're by yourself. Look what happens when I bring this product right here to the screen. You can't see it, right? Look at that. It's all blurred out because I'm in focus, because we have manual focus pulling right behind you. There's no autofocus. Look at that. Watch what happens when we do it on a ZV-1. Check that out. Now check out what happens when I put the product, same product, right up to the screen, right up to the ZV-1. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I'm in focus. Product's in focus. I'm in focus. Product's in focus. Isn't that cool? I just thought that was amazing. You just bring the product right to the screen, in and out, and it worked great. Interval shooting for time lapses. Guys, there's an interval shooting timer for time lapses. So creating content i mean this has everything that you need to create an awesome video an awesome vlog put the time lapses in you can take still images at 20 megapixels you could shoot in 4k you got everything you need and you could do time lapses and you can add them into your vlog get those running clouds get those running lights running cars that's cool all right Great stabilization when you turn on active stabilization. Okay, so let's go test out active stabilization right now. Now we're outdoors and we want to test out a couple of features. I want to test out the auto feature and uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, intelligent auto feature. And I also want to, I want to test out the audio. Now the sound that you're hearing is actually built in. So I'm going to change over in a bit to some other microphones, but I wanted to show you the exposure, the auto adjusting on the exposure. So if I come here in the shaded area, it's supposed to expose the foreground, you should be able to see me. And then if I go here to a bright lit area, it should also auto adjust and it does. So you guys can see my skin tones, you can see my face, the colors are pretty good, all right? And if I want to activate the built-in ND, I need to take it out of the intelligent auto mode to be able to do that. This way I could fix the background if I wanted to. But for the most part, you could see everything. And this type of, the, the purpose of this camera for me would be for vlogging. I do have active stabilization on. This way when I'm walking right now, as you could see, not shit, not too much shaking going on. So active stabilization is working pretty good. We're gonna do an audio test. So there's a large built-in speaker on the top, which works amazing with the windscreen, okay? For those windy situations. So let's just test it out. So let's go outside and test out the speakers. Okay, so right now we're testing the audio with the windscreen on, with the audio, the, the dead cat. So let's see what happens if I remove the dead cat. So now here's the dead cat. It's not on top anymore. And let's see if I swing it around. It's recording and you should be able to hear some kind of wind. And there we go. All right, so now let's see what happens if we put the dead cat back on. Here it is again, all right. Okay, so now I'm gonna swing it around, same thing again. And that should cut down a lot of the noise. All right, so if we were to spin this around like that. You can still hear me. Hello, hello. Yes, you can. You can hear me and now you can see the audio. So you can see the audio difference between having the dead cat on and having the dead cat off. Now let's change to some external microphones and let's see how the audio sounds. All right, now we switched the audios. Now we switch to the Rode, the wireless, Rode Wireless Go. And so we have an external microphone on the system and this is how it sounds. So now you can do a comparison between what it sounds with the microphone built in and how it sounds with the external microphones. So in fact, let's see, let's do another test right now. Test one, microphone, Rode Wireless Go. Test one, Rode Wireless Go. Okay, so on your screen right now, you should be able to see, you should be able to hear audio test two. Right now you are listening to audio test two, which is the built-in microphone without the dead cat. This is for your audio comparison. Test one. This is a test with an external microphone. This is a test with an external microphone. 
Okay, so that's how it sounds. Uh, the cool thing about having an external microphone is you can actually set this down, again, because of the tripod features that we discussed. And you can, let's see if I set this right, make sure I can tilt it. And, all right, so this way I could talk from a distance and we could do things to where you're, you're talking, you're approaching the camera as a vlogger. You could do things like that. You could look down, you could do creative things. And the audio, I'm not speaking loud here, but the microphone is right here and it really helps. So if you're a vlogger and you wanted to have external microphones, this is definitely a good option. So there's different benefits for using an external microphone. The vlogging grip. Now, personally, I think that if you are going to buy this camera, the ZV-1, the vlogging camera, you should definitely get the grip with it. It's a huge benefit, it's a huge advantage, it acts as a remote, it acts as a tripod. In fact, you know what, let's just go outside and demonstrate it. Go check it out. So another cool option is I can use the actual hand grip as a remote from a distance. Okay, so those are the photos that you just saw that I just took remotely from the grip. I detached the grip, took the photos, and that was kind of cool, right? So you could do a lot of cool things with that. Now, another thing you could do is you can zoom in and you can, which right now I'm probably cut off, and you can zoom out, but it's good for presenting, it's good for doing things, it's good to walk up to the camera and kind of zoom in remotely so you can have the remote and do all these cool things features, cool options, just to add to your creativity as a creative. You guys saw how I took the photos with that? Took the photos, uh, you're able to use it as a tripod again, so you know, it's got the legs. So the vlogging grip has three legs as a tripod. Uh, it can swivel, the head can swivel over left and right. Uh, it can go forward and backwards, so if you're doing like food photography or recording or whatnot, it's easy to do. Uh, let's see, the buttons that it comes with are movie, photo, there's C1, which is going to be your bokeh option, that's what's programmed on your camera right now, and there's, you can lock the buttons, and it has, uh, it's easy to connect through Bluetooth, you just hold your finger on the photo and the T at the same time when you're turning on your Bluetooth settings, and then, boom, just connects right away. This camera is supposed to have broadcast capability. Software is being developed to allow it to work as a webcam when connected to your computer via USB so you can broadcast yourself and use all the cool built-in features. So when you're on Zoom, when you're on Facebook, when you're on any, soft, any application that you use on your computer, this camera is going to be able to broadcast using the built-in features, which I think is phenomenal. So you're going to be able to look cool while you're vlogging and while you're broadcasting as well. That's pretty cool, right? Broadcast features on a small camera like that. Very good. Be used as a webcam. Amazing. Battery life. Okay, so battery life, it records up to one hour in 4K. Okay, the cons. It doesn't have a touch screen for the menu, all right? So, for example, if I'm vlogging and I wanted to do something, it's kind of a problem because I have to go back here, adjust the menus, and uh, that's just not ideal. Or, I mean, you'll get used to it in the end. So that's kind of a con right there. I myself have gotten used to it, so it's been okay with me. I'm all right with it for now. So I guess you will get used to it after a while. No big deal. Uh, next con. There's a 15% crop on active stabilization. All right, when you turn on active stabilization, when you, you're, you need it, you need it. It's a 15% crop. Now, that's not that big of a crop, so it's kind of okay. Anyway, you need the crop. Obviously, it needs to move and adjust while you're walking, so it needs to compensate. So 15% crop, uh, you need to set auto power off temperature to high for, to continue recording. If you set it low, it'll start going off after a little while. If you are running and gunning and doing some sports vlogging or you're doing some vlogging that requires you to be out in the field, that's one thing to keep in mind. So this is pretty cool. Guys, I hope you like the vlog. I hope you like my review. If you do, if you did like it, if, if all the specs, all the information, including pricing, is gonna be listed in the description section down below. 
So just check there. You can go to Sony's website, check out the latest information on it as well. Thank you again for watching the review. If, if, uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, if you did like the review, please give me a like, a comment. I'd love your feedback on it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, give me a subscribe, tap the bell, so this way you get to see the next tutorial or the next review on the next product that's going to come out. We've got a few products on the way. All right, thanks for tagging along, and I'll catch you on the next one. So now I'm